How's it going, Coach? It's going great. How are you guys? Cheers. Well, good um, situational football today. A lot of third down emphasis, and uh, that's a very important down for us. We got to improve in those in those areas. Uh, but I thought we got some good work back and forth. Defense wins a couple. Offense wins a couple. Uh, guys are pra practicing with a lot of energy right now, so we got to convert that to the to the game field. That's what we need to do. Any update on Lada? Uh, I haven't talked to the trainer yet. I'm not sure. He said he felt pretty good coming out here, but we'll see how, how he, what the trainer said. Just uh, how you know maybe Monterosso is looking now, and you feel like he's going to be pretty good to go Saturday? Oh, he'll be ready to go. Um, it, he'll get more and more confident as he plays the game. I'm sure he'll be a little nervous when he first steps on the field, but uh, he'll settle down once the quarter goes away. Just the work that he has put in to get back and we see him over there just by himself running running the routes. And, yeah. I mean, that, just how much does that show you how, how important it is? It's very important to him. You know, he's a, he's a coach's kid, and uh, he's a, a football rat, football junkie, and uh, he loves it. He loves being out here, loves studying. Back next to a freshman running back, three freshman receivers. I mean, just how excited are you to kind of see how these guys look out there? You forgot the freshman lineman that we're Freshman playing lineman, too. of course. So, yeah, <laughs> we're, we're going we're gonna to be young. Uh, on Saturday, there's a lot of young guys out there playing, and they had a battle for them. It's, uh, it's very important for us. But they're doing a good job. They're, they're getting better, and that's the whole key. Did you get an update on Matt Burke? You thought it maybe it was an ACL? It is. It's confirmed. It is an ACL. He will have surgery. Uh, we're trying to probably put it off for another couple of days, uh, but he will have surgery. And probably will not have him. It's too early to say, but we'll see about the springtime next year. Just the changes you made, especially on defense, are you seeing those guys settle into those new roles a little yeah, bit? Yeah, I really like how Jelani's playing in his new role. Uh, he's created more plays this week than he has all season long in the practice field, so hopefully he can take that to the game field. But uh, he's got a lot more freedom now to, to do some things, and, uh, which helps us. How are you seeing these guys kind of adjust to the changes on offense? Our guys? Yeah. Uh, They've adapted extremely well. Uh, I think the receivers are excited about it, their new role, and uh, it's fun to see them run around. In practice, are you able to kind of see, you know, different plays and different looks and be like, okay, I think this is going to translate well to the game. Are you kind of able to see, you know, success in practice and how that will work in the game? Yeah, that's what practice is all about, trying to evaluate what you're doing and how well you're doing it. If it's good, you keep it. If it's not good, you throw it out. You know, I told Danny last night, so if you don't like something, speak up. Tell us. Tell us. We'll throw it out. So uh, we'll do that. What's his emotions as you hit midweek? It's been pretty calm. I'm sure it will be a little bit shaky going into Saturday, but he'll calm down. I mean, he's a mature guy. Uh, he, even though he's young, he's mature, so he'll settle in. Are you doing anything for breast cancer awareness month? Some of the guys you have kind of pink mouthpieces. I didn't know if you were. We are. Uh, we'll be wearing uh, pink socks as well as pink wristbands, and uh, I believe that's it. What's that? What will you be wearing? I'm still trying to debate. I asked him this morning, do they have a pink vest? He said, no, he doesn't have a pink vest for me. So. But uh, no, I, I'm not sure yet. I'll do something. What about a pink jacket? You like the jacket? No, I'm a vest guy. Okay. <laughs> you can get anything you want, can't you? No. Are you kidding? <laughs> Um, there's a program here, Boilermaker Wish. Um, are you doing something with that on Saturday? Um, Do you know? I thought that there was a wish that was going to be granted during the know, football game, sure so I didn't know it. if you knew about that. No, or not. I'm not sure. Okay. About it. I'll, I'll look into it. Though. Okay. Just uh, I don't know how many times if you've ever, you know, faced Nebraska, and you know their their large fan base that's probably going to come on yeah. on Saturday, and just you know, your, your stadium has a chance to get taken over by, by the Sea of Red and just how important it is for, I guess, your fans to show up. We, we need our fans this uh, Saturday desperately to support our guys and help us uh, be successful. Uh, they've been great the first couple weeks we've had them here, and I know they'll be great this week. So our fans are extremely, extremely important.